Hello everyone. In this video, I will give you overview on virtual class, how to create a virtual class. In order to create a virtual class, we will take help of lesson plan. Lesson plan is the only module from where we can schedule a virtual class. So I need to go to learning. Under learning, there is a uh, option called lesson plan. I need to click on lesson plan. It will give me this window. So when I come to the lesson plan window, by default, I can see this few white boxes and one color boxes. So these white boxes are because of my timetable. I have my timetable 9 to 10 and 10 30 to 11 30. So therefore, I will see this pre-scheduled slot. So I can plan for I can plan a lesson for these slots. So this is are the my slots. Therefore, I'm able to see it. But let's say if I select my class, virtual class, Okay, and if I click on get plan, I will see uh, the other slots as well. So these two rows are my slots and maybe this eight to nine and 12 to one slots belong to other teachers. So here I'm able to see the plan for the entire class. So by default, when I come to this page, I will see only my classes. Now the, I will show you how to plan a uh, virtual class the two way. The one way is that, okay, that's good. I will see the my slots, but I could not see any slots on Saturday. I want to like to plan for this Saturday, April 25th. So how to do that? For that purpose, I need to click on this button, add plan. So let me click on add plan. So the moment I click on add plan, I will get a planning window and I will select my class, virtual class. And it's a dummy class, which I've just created. And let's say subject GMM and uh, i will uh, uh, put my title of the chapter uh, title of the chapter let's say chapter one uh, sorry uh, chapter one and let's say topic one mm, enter obviously don't forget to make an enter you have to enter uh, topic two okay but uh, here I type the chapter and topic, but uh, you know, if topic is already available with the repository, I just clicked here and get from the syllabus repository as well. So uh, here uh, I have the chapter and topic. Now I can put the lecture note and other part and just, I need to click on plan and do not publish. So the moment I clicked on plan and do not publish, this lecture has been, this lesson plan has been planned, but yet not scheduled. So now I can just drag and drop to this Saturday 9 to 10 and uh, it's there basically. It's in a blue color, it's not published for the students and uh, it's there. Now I can make it as a virtual class. This is a very important step. First, we clicked on add plan, we fill up the entire details, clicked on plan and do not published. Okay, so the one, one lesson plan item is created, we drag and drop. Now, that's a step number one. So now there are two steps, edit it and make it virtual class. So if there's a virtual class, just click on edit, okay, and just say update. So now it will become a virtual class. So if you clicked here, now you'll see the new button called join online class. That was not there before. Okay, so if you get this button, it means this lecture, this lesson plan is now become an online class. So now you can click here, a student can click here and then can join there but student cannot see this plan till the time you published it so you need to click as a step number three you need to click on publish so if i clicked on publish it will be published and change the color each subject going to get different color so this is we see you know how to plan a lesson and make it virtual plan virtual class if there is no schedule but if i already have a schedule it would be very quick and easy for me. So let's say this is my schedule for two, tomorrow, 9 to 10, and I wanted to make it as a virtual class. So if I clicked on the schedule, I will get the my class automatically selected, subject automatically selected, my date and time, and therefore I will get this check marks. Is this a virtual class? Okay, so let's say chapter two, and I say topic three, Okay, and I will check mark this button and just say plan and do not publish. So if you if you notice, you know, this white box will turn into the colored one. So this uh, timetable is now turned into the uh, lesson plan. And now if I clicked here, 
I will see this button. This button represents that. I will check mark this uh, uh, is virtual class. If I check mark only, then only it will system will create a virtual class and you will get this button. Okay. Now, obviously, as a final step, I need to click on publish. Till the time I do not publish, students and parents are not able to see this virtual class. So don't forget to make and publish. Another very important point when you click on publish, system will send an email notification to all the students and parent who are part of this virtual class. It will send only notification only to students and in, in uh, uh, if there is a university and college. If it is a school, it will send notification to students and parents both if their email ID get registered. Okay, so as in a summary, no need to get confused. Here, if I already have a scheduled, let me let me go there. Let me again click on lesson plan. So when I go to lesson plan, by default, I will see only and only my schedule. So here, many teacher get confused that uh, that uh, why I'm not able to see my all the plans. So by default, when you come here, you will see only your planning and your uh, white boxes as per your timetable. But let's say you wanted to see the entire things of your class, you need to select particular class from the left panel. So if I go and select, let's say my class and just click on get plan, I will see the schedule for all the entire class and planning for the entire class as well. So by default, it's mine. If I click the select the class and click on get plan, I will see the entire class. But that's the summary number one. Summary number two. If I wanted to plan for the, my pre-available schedule as per the timetable, just click here where you automatically get the virtual class button here, chapter, topics, already select the class and subjects. Everything is pre-available. Just click on publish, uh, plan and do not publish. Okay. So that's the summary. And now let's say there's a no schedule available and you want to like to have a some, some, some lecture on Sunday. Okay. So you need to click on this button. Okay. So moment you click on this button, you need to manually select the class select the subject put the chapters and topic plan it out okay let me quickly do it again uh, as an summary uh it take a few seconds just so i just did it and let's say topic number five okay and i just clicked on plan and publish and then i need to drag and drop there is extra steps basically i need to drag and drop and put it here okay and then i need to this is not a virtual class it's a normal lesson plan. So now to make it virtual class, I need to click on edit. I need to click on this button and just say update. And it will turn as in a virtual class. Okay, so how will you know that it is a virtual class? So if I click here, I will see this button. So this is a virtual class, but in a different color. But now if I click on publish, system will send email notification to all the students and parents, and they will be able to see this schedule right from the mobile app web app and they will see this button and they clicked here and join as a virtual class so now let me click here so if i click here system will redirect me to a google meet to join the class similar way all the students everybody will able to uh, redirect there and uh, that that the way they will join it i hope uh, uh, you 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 have got these ideas uh, in case any any queries questions feel free to reach us at the red, at support at the educloud.in or any any other your account manager or any other support team just feel free to uh, reach us we will guide you in details thank you everyone have a great day